Well, this is a bit of an unexpected one. Um, so, a few weeks ago, about two weeks ago actually, I received the Japan Crate, uh, the July Japan Crate. And I've just received this today. Um, so, yeah, okay, I guess this is the August Japan Crate then, going up at the end of July. Um, also surprised because I knew Japan Crate did anime uh, related packages uh, occasionally. Didn't realise how regular they were because uh, those of you with keen eyes will notice this one is indeed themed after a particular magical girl, and that is Card Captor, uh, particularly the uh, Clear Card series, which I've done a little bit of research on, is a sequel to Card Captor Sakura, or as it was known over here. Card um, which is a series actually I watched when I was really young, when I was like 10 or something. Really liked Card Captors. Obviously, probably very, very different from Card Captor Sakura. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually kind of a bit excited for this because I don't know, I, I didn't expect, um, you know, I didn't expect a theme with it. And also, I didn't expect it about two weeks after my first one. So, as with always, uh, this is the premium version. Uh, as you can see, then it says Puri Miyamu. Uh, card Captor Sakura Clear Card uh, with association from Kodakawa Comics, I believe. On the side, there's like all the um, you know all the social media stuff. Uh, there's the four steps to happiness, um, kind of like the 12, 12 tips for good life or something. I can't remember by that guy. Um, Kodakawa Comics. Well, there we are. So yeah, so. I guess it's time to open it up and see what goodies lie inside. Now, I did watch a video of Japan Crate's, um, like, My Hero Academia one, because, um, kind of sad I missed out on that. I think I, like, subscribed the month after or something. Um, so all of these snacks seem to be inspired by the series. So there may be one or two actual Cardcaptor Sakura, like, themed snacks. Uh, as in, like, you know, w with images on the front and stuff. But most of these, I think, are inspired by characters. Basically, kind of like, hey, this is spicy, just like the explosive attitude of this character. So, as always, I'm not actually going to show you guys what's in here. Um, just because I think that'll give it away. So I'm just going to kind of delve in and... Ooh, ooh, okay, wait. Is this the... Okay, this is the booklet that comes with it. Just... Fantastic artwork! Like, I, I know the, um, partner... Is this... Hang on, wait. Is this like a... Yo! This is... Ah! Oh, hang on. So there's a little... Ah, oh, right, sorry. I thought there was... Well, it's not manga, but... So there's some illustrated stuff about the characters. Um, I'll take a very brief look at this, but like... Slow... Slow read. Okay. Is in Lou read? Clow read. Okay. Um... Yeah, so there's some, I guess that's like the rundown of some of the characters, which I suppose will be useful because this will uh, no doubt like mention, you know, sort of particular characters. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to read through this now, I'll have a read through it later. Um, if, you know, if I like miss out on something that I find out from this, I'll put in the captions at the bottom there. So, I feel a book kind of thing. I want to leave that for a minute. Uh, and we'll just delve straight in, I think. So, there is this lollipop thing. Yeah, there's like a stick and some gummy things. And this is indeed called Candy Box. I started reading the uh, Katakana there and then realised it's actually just in English. Okay, Candy Box. Let's see what's going on with this. Actually, before I uh, look into that, just to confirm, this is indeed the August 2018 uh, crate. And indeed, that is the Candy Fruity Box. There's a nice little fruit basket treat for everyone. Um, I guess fruit baskets or something in Card Captor Sakura. Not sure how that relates, but obviously there's apple, there's like lemon, strawberry and orange, I'm guessing, or something. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure what the stick is for. I think you can like, they're soft gummies, you can like press it in or whatever. Next up, ooh, we have a strawberry something. Oh, okay, uh, so that says Ichigo. Unfortunately, that's kanji. So um, this is indeed strawberry. It's like a marshmallowy thing, I think. Let's take a look. This is indeed a strawberry daifuku. It's pink, fluffy, and strawberry flavoured. Apparently, a treat Sakura would like, unless Kero gets it first. I'm so out of the loop here. I don't know who Kero is. I know who Sakura is because that's her. 
Um, but yeah, so that's the kind of marshmallow -y thing, I imagine, with sort of strawberry jam or whatever inside. Ooh, next up, let's get this thing, which is interesting. Isu. Isu Rory. Oh, it's an ice lolly then. Um, I mean, it's not an ice lolly because it's actually, you know, not frozen or anything, but let's see what this thing is. This is the double ice choco chocolate vanilla, a whimsical combination of vanilla and chocolate ice cream flavours atop a magical wand. E because she is a witch. Um so yeah, that's that's kind of cool. I imagine it's chocolate and vanilla flavour, probably. Let's dive in. Okay, let's just grab this big thing then. Yo, what is this? So um that looks like cheese cakey. So cheese ah <laughs> Okay, just as I just as I like spend a few seconds reading that, I just look down and there's actually just a cheesecake. Seventy-five grams of something. So these are like um, like I guess donuty things, kind of that taste of cheesecake, and they're resealable as well. Very good. Um, another snack I may end up taking to work. Let's see exactly what these are. These are uh, dress palette cheesecake, uh, little cookies with light and. Uh, they're light and puffy. They have a cream cheesecake flavour. I assume that's a cream cream cheesecake flavour, not a cream cheese cake flavour, because cream cheese is like, you know, creamy cheese, which doesn't really go with the cake, I suppose. And apparently Tomoyo would like those. Um, I'm going to have a brief look at these character descriptions. I feel like they'd make more sense. There we go. That's Tomoyo. That's um, apparently Sakura's friend and enjoys making costumes and filming her doing things. So there we are. The more you know, I suppose. Uh, very nice. Kind of, kind of looking forward to those. And also a little, you know, apprehensive. What is this very long thing? This uh, says Koragamu or um, Cola Gum. I, I have to stop doing that. I need to look for the English first because otherwise I'm just going to end up editing myself reading something for a minute and then reading it in English. So this is cola gum. Let's see what that is. This is the long cola gum, which is a very long um, cola flavoured gum thing. Now, so this is the second mention of Cairo here. Um, however, this page does not mention Cairo at all, unless I'm missing the obvious here. None of these characters have the name Kero in them at all. Like, there's a lot of characters here, but I guess Kero is maybe like a nickname for someone? Because they sure as hell are not here. And I either didn't know or forgot that this guy is called Cerberus, the little um, flying, you know, lion thing that was her companion. That was really cute. And I think turned into a big lion or something later on. Spoilers, maybe? I don't know. Uh, ooh. Right, next up is this thing. Okay, this doesn't actually seem like it's in English. Hochi Dekita? I may be reading that really badly. That's a hiragana. Not so good with hiragana. But I think I've had something very similar to this before. It's like a marshmallow thing that you dip in, like, syrup and then sprinkles and stuff. Let's have a look. So I'm not sure what I just said, but Hora Dekita is actually quite quite near to what I translator is, I think. It's an apple soft candy uh, DIY kit, so make your own little candy apples using chewy caro sized apple candies, some syrup and sprinkles. Again, that person, Caro. Is Caro like her companion? I don't know. Uh, also, there's DIY instructions on there if you want to look at it, although chances are, if you have this item, then probably already have the box and if you already have the box and you probably already have that thing you've probably already gone to that website now next up is this little lolly thing that um <laughs> you know a, a, a lollipop not the other kind of lolly um hi kiku kiku oh hi kick ah oh, obviously yeah because there's a um there's a foot hi kiku okay let's see what this is ah that says high kick. Dear God, I can't read today. High kick candy. Yeah, get a kick out of these fruity lollipops. Apparently, Say Sayoran's martial arts uh, can't even stand up to flavour. Because, uh, fun fact, that's not how martial arts work. You can't actually fight flavour with anything. Next up, 
is, uh, ooh, there's a collaboration of sorts. Amanatsu and rare cheese cake. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing a theme here with cheesecake kind of things. The kind of um, round ball kind of things. Um, right, let's see what this is then. Uh, let's look at the back as well. Oh, okay, those look like peaches or something. Okay, talk about going out of your uh, way to make a reference here. This is Amanatsu Rare Cheesecake Candy, which apparently was the topic of an episode where Sakura and Tomoyo tried baking one, and Kero really liked it. This mysterious Kero character continues bothering us. Uh, but yeah, these are apparently bonbon versions of that very cheesecake. Now, I'm going to level with you. Cheesecake is a kind of hit and miss thing for me. I kind of like it, but only for certain cheesecakes I've had. Other ones are kind of average. Ooh, okay, so... Okay, so that says potato cheap isu, and that is... Usureo. Usureo? Okay, I'm not sure. Let's see. So these are salt potato chips. So I'm I'm not sure Usureo maybe is salt. I'm not sure. But yeah, they're they're just plain like potato chips basically. Uh from potatoes that are grown locally in the northern prefectures of Japan. Which it's quite vague, actually, because Japan's quite a big place. So the northern prefectures are sort of a lot of places. Next up, ooh, okay, Remy Con. Um, yeah, okay. I, you know what? Let's just go and check what these are. Oh, they're stars. Strawberry and cream stars is gonna be my guess. So these are Shimi Choco Strawberry and Cream flavour. That's she, not rare. That's uh, where I went wrong there. But yeah, um, these are Shimi Choco. So I've only had these once before. They were in the regular chocolate flavour things. So they were brown. And so I didn't really recognise them. These are obviously uh, Strawberry and Cream flavour, which I greatly approve of. I do love strawberry flavour and cream flavour. Stuff is nice as well. Okay, so I think we're nearing the end here. We have a full bottle of Mango Loss Lassie. As in Lassie the, the dog that would tell people, ooh, Mango Lassie tea. So I'm going to go on a limb here and say it's mango and some other uh, flavour kind of tea drink. This is Mango Tea, uh, sorry, Afternoon Tea Mango Lassie. And apparently Lassie is like a yoghurt based drink, which has a sweet tart taste. Which I'm all about because um, there's another um, type of drink, and I'm blanking on the name now, but I'll put it in the, in the caption at the bottom there. Where it's kind of like um, Kalp, Kapli, uh, Kalpis, Kaplis, something like that. It's, it's really nice. It's um, I have it whenever I go to a Japanese restaurant in Cardiff. But yeah, so I'm actually really excited for this now. I mean, I'm always into mango flavour things anyway and I do like iced tea kind of drinks so you know I'm actually really impressed because this is a full size bottle not the like you know the last month's was bad or anything but I really do appreciate an actual full size thing not just a kind of snack size thing okay next up ooh, we've got man those are some interesting looking sweets there they look chocolate with Wait, is that chocolate? Oh, no, okay, no, sorry, that's not chocolate, that's a reflective service. Like little tablety things. This is Sea House Shaved Ice Ramune Candy. Um, yeah, they're like little shaved ice shards, stars popping up. They come in all sorts of flavours in these candy drops. Okay, so they're like fairly basic candy drop things. Very nice. Next up. Ooh, ooh, wow, these are really soft. They're cherry something. It's a very, uh, well, very traditional Japanese there. Let's uh, see what these are then. These are Sakuranbo gummy. Sweet, soft and bouncy. That's how we describe our little Sakura. I'll, uh, I'll leave that sink in for a second. Um, but yeah, apparently um, Cherry Gummy's Sayuran would surely love these. Winky face. I'm not sure what they're getting at here. Again, I feel a little bit out of the loop. But these are very soft. I'm actually quite looking forward to these. Uh, and I believe we have one or two more. Ooh, ooh, this feels like an Umaibo. And I believe it is. Yes. There is our little cat mascot thing wearing, like, a hat of some sort. So it looks like a spicy one. 
maybe he's in the kitchen doing some work and there's a uh okay there's like a weird insect holding a mustard bottle on his head i'll go and check what this is and this is the premium umaibo cheese so um apparently this is some kind of like premium umaibo stick uh, it's flavoured with the types of luxurious European cheeses Ariel would would be enjoying. Well, that's that's very nice. Actually, the packaging looks a bit different. No, no, it, it looks the same. Actually, I'm just an idiot. Wait, no, it does look different. Does it? Yeah, mine's very red, and that's very blue and red. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm I'm always happy to get Umaibo things. Ooh, yo, what is this? Oh, okay, it looks like a strawberry kind of roll thing. Roru, Roru cakey, uh, something cakey. This is the strawberry cream roll cake, fluffy on the outside, sweet and creamy on the inside, just like in certain inappropriate joke here. But yeah, this is a pretty uh, standard kind of cake thing, uh, or Swiss roll, as we call it in the UK, actually, uh, and probably abroad as well. I don't imagine it's just the UK that calls it that. Right, this feels like some of the last items we have an. We have a massive amount of snacks here, like, this is actually kind of crazy. I think there may be more than last month. Yo, is this watermelon stuff? I think this is watermelon. Okay, so that is the Tane Ramune watermelon. They look like watermelon seeds, but they're actually little candies coated... the Little candy coated watermelon flavoured bits. They're quite an experience to eat. I'm very much looking forward to these actually as uh, I do have a penchant for watermelon and these are indeed watermelon coloured and everything as well. That is, oh wow, okay, so they're like black, so they actually do look like watermelon seeds. That's fantastic. I think we have two things left. Let's grab this and, yo, hello, Kororo, Kororo Peach. Uh, these also feel like soft kind of sweet bowl things not too sure on the packaging it's a bit confusing why does that open up like everything sealed and stuff let's check these are kororo white peach gummies these have been a popular item from our past crates this time we have them in peach flavor like the peach buns sayoran made for hanami they look and feel like eating peeled grapes try it yourself I, I will. I will try it myself. Um, very interesting. White grapes. Okay then. I prefer black grapes myself. Uh, or red grapes, I guess. But I think we are at... Oh, no. There's one more thing. Oh! Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, as with last month, there's, there's always got to be one item I mix up. I think this may be the premium Umaibo thing. So I think this is the like European cheese one. Let's see. Indeed, that is indeed the cheese one. So the Amiibo stick I was on about was, in fact, shrimp mayonnaise. Uh, oh, wow, they've been around since the 50s. And just a um, snack icon, they surely are. Shrimp and mayo flavour. That would explain it, actually. So that's a shrimp. Oh, yeah, look, it's tail and stuff. Oh, my God, I'm an idiot. Okay, that does look like a mustard bottle, though. So, uh, yeah, this is like the premium Amiibo stick. Is Umaibo even on this? Actually, that's that's the point. Is it Umaibo just like a registered thing, like Pringles would be crisps, or is Umaibo just the name of the type of stick? Also, this is larger, as you can tell, and a little bit thicker as well. And I believe that is it for the food. And the last thing we have, uh, which I want to keep to last, is this Card Captor Sakura. Um, clear card it's an exclusive sampler all right then so it's like it's obviously it's a manga sampler yo that's really cool actually um you know now admittedly the uk does not have the best choice of manga so uh i believe if i did want to like legally read the uh you know card captor sakura clear case manga series i'd maybe have to import from uh, America or something, but that's very nice. And those are the uh, covers of volumes one to four. But yeah, that's how, oh, actually they are available digitally. So just ignore my comment actually, because uh, a lot of manga reader apps work that way for the UK. So I'm going to take a quick look through here just to make sure I've not missed anything, and uh, then I'll show you the last page of the whole learn Japanese thing.
All right then, I'm back. So uh, we did indeed cover all of it. And so they've got a um, really nice double page spread that I kind of regret not covering more last month's uh, video. But basically it highlights kind of festivals and stuff that's going on. So there's the Gozan no Okaburi, which is uh, five massive bonfires are kind of lit uh, in a particular place in Japan. I can't remember where it is, but it does say that. Uh, oh, uh, the mountainside surrounding Kyoto, there we are. Uh, so it happens at the end of the Obon festival and is uh, t 525 feet wide. That is crazy. I think that's the kanji for fire as well. And apparently is there to guide the sort of lost spirits and stuff. Um, then we got a little section on seasonal foods, uh, kakigori and hiyashi chuka. So uh, kakigori is just shaved ice basically with flavouring. And hiyashi chuka is cold ramen or chilled ramen. I'm, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure I'd be into that. I mean, maybe, but cold noodles, like, eh, they're okay. And, of course, the Japanese for the month. Momo, which is peach. And Kazoku, which is family. If you watched, uh, if you watched Clanad, then you'll know of the Dango Dai Kozoku, which is the big Dango family. Now I've got that song stuck in my head again. Uh, and, of course, on the other uh, side is the Aomori Nebuta, which is um, a large sort of uh, recreation of particular stories with massive lanterns and dancers and stuff, uh, which takes place in a place outside of Tokyo. Uh, I, well, I say outside of, it's like 50 miles or something. And we have the Awa Adori, which uh, takes place... In another place, um, Tokushima, actually, which is approximately 400 miles out of Tokyo, so quite a distance. But man, I've got to say, like, this is genuinely really nice because, you know, I, I know you can Wikipedia and stuff, but it's genuinely nice to get something to kind of, well, not necessarily commemorate, but kind of go back and look at and, you know, remember and stuff like that. And of course we have a brief advert for Clamp at the back, which is showing uh, two issues of Tsubasa and two issues of Triple X Holic. Um, two, two series I've heard of. I'll be honest, never never watched any, you know, may get around to reading or watching them at some point. But man, I've got to say, this has been a fantastic uh, crate. So we've got a little manga sampler. I mean, arguably, you could argue it's like, hey, why didn't they give us a volume of the manga? But I imagine that's actually quite expensive and just make these more expensive. Um, you know, and this is pretty cool anyway, as it's, it's a slightly more exclusive thing, as it were. And of course, all of the snacks are great. Actually, you know what? I'll arrange them in a nice order like I did last month and I'll be right back. All right then, so that about uh, wraps it up for the August 2018 Japan Crate. I don't know, but I feel like they've given more snacks this month than they did last month. I could be incorrect about that, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm really digging the anime-themed things. I know technically we didn't get any Cardcaptor Sakura, like, snacks per se. They were all kind of inspired by, but it's really cool. Lots of peach things, lots of mango things, a few cheesecake things that I'm still not too sure of. But overall, again, quite a uh, variety of snacks and stuff, so genuinely quite looking forward to next month, which um, should be September, so hopefully they should give me about two weeks before sending it this time. But yeah, so this is my second of the three months that I've subscribed to Japan Create, and honestly, assuming next month is just as strong, I may just keep subscribing, because these things have been pretty phenomenal so far. Uh, as always, if you do want to watch my older videos and stuff, I'll leave like a link to them at the end in my title card and stuff and you know if you do want to subscribe that would be cool but no pressure uh, and let me know in the comment section if you want to ask something or if you got one as well and um, you know I'm always happy to talk so uh, yeah until next time goodbye